YouTube, Curtin6693 here, here to bring you gaming, anime news, as well as anything that I find interesting. <laughs> Today, I want to give you news that I find interesting. Um, as some of you may know, if you've already heard about now, Molly Sowers was seen uh, <laughs> twerking on Robin Fink of the VMA Awards um, a couple days ago, I think two days, two or three days ago. Um, I don't watch much TV anymore, but I do keep up with certain things, um, and, uh, this is uh, this sparked a lot of you know I guess positive and negative new uh, reviews. You know some people you know are saying you know Miley Cyrus is just turning to that typical you know celebrities grow up and they become you know I guess sluts and getting the drugs and stuff like that. And then you know some people make comments like oh she has no ass. Or, and I just wanted to give my take on that. Well, I'll be kind of honest with you. I want to be honest, this, you know, her change in behavior, even though it's, it is, like, I would say a surprise, I will say this, though, that this has been going on for a while. This this is not just happened, like, at the VMAs. Like, if uh, if you guys have been keeping up, the first incident that she had, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, she was talking on, like, some 40-year-old director or some music per, uh, some music director. Or it was some some 40-year-old guy. They were in a party. He was, you know, some some somebody important or something. And she was trucking on them. And the guys, people caught on video. And people were like, oh, you know, they get Miley, you know, Disney star doing this, doing that. And that was the first one. And then, uh, and then there were, like, pictures that would arise of her, like, you know, lingerie. Um, there'll be, you know, picture of posing, and, you know, kind of have, like, that flirtatious thing, then, she then, she got me when she cut off her hair, when she cut off her hair, and I was like, okay, yeah, we're dealing with a new Miley Cyrus, and, um, then that happened, then, you know, there was just, um, you know, just things here and there, her twerking, uh, on videos, and changing her way she does things, um, then, you know, now this has happened. So, what I'm saying is, is this has been going on, you know, on, on a track. Um, me, personally, I don't, I mean, I don't think that Molly Cyrus is like a slut or anything. Because, here's the way I see it, man, half of y'all women, I, I mean, not all of y'all, I'm not, I'm not, this is not for all women, but for, for some, there are many women out there who do that stuff all the time. And, 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 it's, just a, and it's just another thing. You know, but the fact that Miley Cyrus is doing it is now is causing a whole bunch of controversy. Well, the way I see it is, you gotta grow up sometime. I'm I'm not saying that girls grow up means they gotta twerk on dudes and do this and do that. I'm just saying that when you grow up, people are gonna be exposed to more mature stuff. And fame is a bitch. You know, fame can cause you to do crazy things. I mean, Charlie Sheen was in the drugs. Uh, um, God, there was um, th it, there was Corey Feldman. Um, Mm, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, there have been some uh, actors that have uh, commuted suicide in the past few weeks. Um, you know, um, I mean, look at Lindsay Lohan. You know, I mean, just, I mean, Amanda Bynes. I mean, the list just goes on. Um, you know, it's just you know what I'm saying is I think what happens is, is these celebrities they get famous and you know and they. Um, and they just get this fame of riches, and I think what happens is, is they reach this topping point where they have what they they have what they want. You know, they have the millions of dollars. They can get whatever the fuck they want, buy whatever the hell they want, eat whatever the hell they want. You know, do whatever the hell they want, pretty much. Um, and they get to this point where it's kind of like, what's after? What's next? What's after that? And I think that's what leads them into wow. I mean, they they want to be more free, so they so they're like, oh, I, you know. I want to go. I want to engage in this wild behavior. So that, that's when, that's how they get. That's how some get into drugs. Some get into sex. Some get into just all types of things. And this is one thing that I that is actually um, that has been on my mind for a while. And I think and I think there's some truth to it. Um, whenever a person gets into a position of power, all good things and bad things tend to amplify. What I mean by that is, is you have a crackhead, a person who's, in, you know, you know, likes crack a lot. You know, you if you drop a thousand dollars or a million dollars in their dope store, what are they going to do? No, they're not going to change their life around and buy this and buy what they're going to do. They're going to buy more crack. They may, they may, have, they may have a nice, a nicer place to stay in, you know, besides that. But they're what they're going to do? They're going to spend most of it on crack. They're going to buy more crack. 
if you give, but if you give, um, if you give a, a poor person who's never had anything in his life, you know, and all he's ever wanted was a home to, you know, for his family or something, what is he going to do with a million dollars? He's the first thing he's probably going to do is buy himself a place to stay, buy himself some food, put some food on the table, you know, take care, take care of his children, give them things they ne that they never had, you know. Then after that, he may go and have some fun, you know. But what I'm saying is, is when we are put in a position of power especially uh, financial wise the good things about us and the bad things about us tend to amplify you know if if we were in if we were into drugs before we got rich or outside of our financial status if we are already engaged in that drugs and and deep inside of us we want to go out and party and just do it with anybody and just you know just live the life right um, if there's already inside us, when we get money, that's what we're going to do. Everything about you, good and bad, amplifies when you have power. Look at politicians, you know. Why do you think, why do you think, you know, there's so much drama going on with politicians all the time? Because, you know, these people are in power and they're able to do whatever they want to do. And that's why the government's so corrupt and messed up. You get the Wall Street, 99%, 1%, government conspiracies, Illuminati, you have all these different things, um, you have all these different things that you know that are just affecting the uh, government, in which, which I actually do a lot of research on that. But for the purpose of my this channel, I won't be focusing on different things such as that. I am planning on making. I may make another channel which I may talk more about politics and government and other things like that. Um, Especially when it is with the conspiracy side, but that's that's one other day. But what I'm saying is, is my point is, is just that, that when you when you get these people in power or these people with the status who can do these things, you know they you know bad qualities tend to expose themselves. And I think that's what happened to Charlie Sheen with drugs. I think that's what happened to Lindsay Lohan with or with her constant revisits to the uh, to the rehabilitation center. I think that's what happened also. With Miley Cyrus and all these scenes going on, I think that she's finally grown up. You know, she she what twenty something, twenty three, twenty two. I don't twenty no no she's twenty one. Yeah, she's my uh, she's oh she's about to be twenty one. It's something she's around my age because I'm twenty, but um, she's around my age. But um, you know, but they, she she's grown. She's able to go out and do shit now. And I think that now that she has this freedom, you know. Now I think that's kind of been like, oh, I can do all these things now, you know, um, you know, and that's what has led to her doing, having this crazy behavior. It could also be, you know, just stress and being a celebrity. Maybe she just want to say fuck it and just live, you know, like I said, live the life. Um, you know, there's many different factors, but I do think that the number one thing is the fact that once you're in power, you know, these qualities that you have will amplify. You know, she's she's doing these things because she can. She's Miley Cyrus. You know, she's she, she has a name. You know, she she's behind something. She has money. You know, she has a status, so she can do something, and it doesn't. You know, and it, it it's whatever. It, you know, um, that's why. You know, but and you can't say, oh, she's a slut. She's because many a man because most because most women out there, you know, in society do shit like that all the time. You know, most people do in society do that all the time, and it's just another day to them. You know, you know what you want to say? You have to realize that these celebrities are humans just like us. They just have a lot of money. You know, they're humans just like us. They have impulses. You know, she's young. You know, her hormones are high. You know, you know she's going through that those years where she's trying to figure out what she wants to do. And I, I'm not defending her. I mean, don't get me wrong. She, I mean, she look like a damn fool. But I'm just saying that it is what it is, you know. Um, and I know Amanda Barnes has been going through a tough time. I know she, you know, has been um, acting, having strange behavior. Uh, and I know I think I think right now she's in a uh, in a uh, in a center for help or some kind of um, me medical mental health place right now, um, you know to get her. And I know she had to stay there like an extra month. I think oh, she's staying there for an extra month so she can uh, they can make sure that she's okay. But apparently she's doing better. And I think Lindsay Lohan has got his own shows now, so it looks like they're doing better. But now it's time for Miley Cyrus to do a one eighty. Um, but do I think this is the end of it? No, it's not. They're, watch, I guarantee you, probably come next week, there's going to be, you know, something else, um, that she's up to. You know, it, it's, that's just celebrity life, man. But let me know what you guys think. How did you guys feel about this whole Miley Cyrus twerking at the VMA, um, awards? Um, do you, do you, do you agree with my philosophy about, you know, with more power, 
you know, like 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 Uncle Ben said, more power, more responsibility. Do you do you agree with with that philosophy? That the more power you have, the more responsibilities, but also the also qualities about you increase, the good and the bad. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. If you guys want me to talk more about this or talk about any other me, uh, things about the media, let me know, and I'll and I'll hit I'll hit you guys up. Curtis six nine three out.